And the fever caught up to India too. And it so happened we were lucky to have as a chief minister, uh, Mr. Chandrababu Naidu, who was a visionary and had a, his own ideas on what we should do as a country. And he was also, I believe, a member of the ruling government, NDA, under Mr. Bajpai. Anyway, and uh, so there was a lot of discussion and um, and he invited Bill Gates to Hyderabad who came and uh, he was uh, started using PowerPoint. And I was kind of amazed because I came into uh, Hyderabad at that time, 97 and 98. And uh, he was uh, very proudly using PowerPoint. Uh, he, from what I know, he did not create it. It was created by Sudan. Is uh, you know uh, special uh, secretary for IT, but anyway, uh, he was using PowerPoint to explain things, and there was also at the same time a uh, number of uh, IT companies were started, like TCS was already there since the middle, and uh, Infosys and so on. All of them, uh, Devan Mehta, who was the uh, you know who created this NASCOM and became the first president was um, kind of in Hyderabad and together uh, in, in this cauldron of act uh, activity in India, uh, they came up with the idea we need to, to, you know, kind of create an institution which can train high quality professional in the information technology. And out of that came the idea of a triple IT, Information Institute of Information Technology, and uh, and an original society uh, that to host Triple IT uh, was uh, created by uh, a society registered by uh, Sri Sinirazu and uh, Deva Mata, who is no longer with us, and Ram Mainam Party, three, three of them. Uh, were the co-signers of the society at that time. And um, so this was all done, I believe, at the instigation of the chief minister because they wanted to start a triple IT. They didn't know how to do it and what to do. And, uh, and we were very fortunate at that time to have two visionary IAS officers, Mr. R. Chandrasekhar and Mr. Uh, Ajay Sahani, uh, both of which were, whom were not only knowledgeable in information technology and computers and so on, but were actually providing significant uh, conceptual and visionary leadership in the AP government. So with, so he, uh, Mr. Chandrababu Naidu asked them to say, you create this institution and get it started. And they ba basically said, if we created it like every other university, it will never you know, amount to anything. So they wanted to make it completely autonomous with no, uh, you know, any kind of no links or no control from any bureaucratic machinery in the government, which turns out to be the big problem for most of the other uh, IIITs and other institutions that have been started. They have some umbilical cord to the government who still can control what they do. So uh, it is not true that the government did not provide support. Uh, it turns out the land that IIIT is on is about 65 acres or so, and the buildings, original buildings that are still there, uh, were all built for the high court of Andhra Pradesh, you know, who did not want to use it, did not want to move far away from the center of Hyderabad into uh, in the boondocks. And so that was given uh, at, on a rental or, or a lease of one rupee per year. And uh, that turns out to be a non-trivial amount you know, <laughs> of support from the government. And all of this came about because Mr. Chandrasekhar and Mr. Sahani were able to kind of conceive of a way of doing things legally within the government without 
giving cash or without giving anything to AAAT. At the same time, uh, I got a call from Ms. Sandrab and I do, I was in the USA and said, well, we are starting this institution. We want you to be the president. I said, absolutely not. I can't be the president of the thing because you know I'm already fully employed and doing other things. This was the time <clears throat> I was the dean of the School of Computer Science at, at Carnegie Mellon and also on the President's Information Technology Advisory Board playing a, in a key role. Later on, I became a co-chairman of the, the thing. So and basically, and, um, so I agreed to become the chairman uh, of this um, founding institution. And I helped to you know, convince Narendra Huja, who was a friend of mine at the University of Illinois, to come and uh, take a leave of absence for a couple of years, two, three years, to help to get it started. We had to wait for MHRD to you know, kind of uh, uh, give the uh, permission to become a deemed university. And so they wouldn't, they, they, they said, they adopted the name IIIT and they started a number of other institutions, IIT, Allahabad, IIIT, Allahabad, and so on. Then suddenly they declared IIIT is our name. You can't use it. And, and it turned out it was trademarked and uh, you know, copyrighted by IIIT Hyderabad. But that doesn't matter. It didn't matter because they were in the power. Mr. Murali Manohar Joshi, who you know, was the minister of, for MHRD, and he said, nothing doing, you know, you have to change your name. And, uh, and secondly, uh, and of course, because Mr. Chandrabh Naidu was in, part of the government, he was able to twist the arms of the chief minister, uh, the prime minister and, and the minister for MHRD uh, to, but they said, you must change the name. So fortunately, uh, inspired, we kind of changed it to international that meant we get to keep the triple IT name uh, 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 intact. And so that's the history of how we became an international institute of information technology.